Hello, my friend. Welcome back to Smart Farm Tech Channel. Do you know what farmers have to do to grow those fresh, sweet fruits? And how are those fruits processed in factories to become the products you love? Wow, millions of tons of produce are harvested and processed in factories. How do they even manage that? Today, let's explore the journey of these familiar crops, from the hands of farmers to your hands as consumers. You'll gain a deeper understanding of the connection between farmers and consumers, helping you appreciate the products you use every day. Are you ready? Let's get started. Do you know why Thailand leads the world in banana production? Thailand has the ideal tropical climate for growing bananas, with stable temperatures year-round and plenty of rainfall. The soil here is often fertile and rich, providing the perfect environment for banana plants to grow strong and healthy. This combination of climate and soil conditions not only helps the banana trees thrive, but also produces high-quality bananas. This is surely a big advantage that helps Thailand maintain its title as the Kingdom of Fruits, don't you think? Thailand is famous for its wide variety of bananas, and one of the most outstanding types is the Pisang Awak banana, also called Klinomoa. This banana has a unique flavor and holds great economic value. Thai bananas are known for their sweet and delicious taste and are a common ingredient in street food, being transformed into many unique dishes that give both locals and tourists a special culinary experience. Now imagine holding a bunch of perfectly ripe golden bananas, each one plump and ready to be eaten. You just can't wait to take a bite, right? Bananas are harvested when they are ripe and have reached their full size, usually during the main harvest season. After 9 to 20 months from planting, the bananas are ready. Each bunch can weigh up to 45 kilograms. We carefully check the size and ripeness of the bananas to make sure we pick the best ones. Ever wondered how we get these heavy bunches down from the tree? A clever pulley system helps us lift them up and move them around easily. It's a brilliant invention, simple and effective. When bananas are transported from the fields to the factory via the ROP system, the preparation process at the factory is very thorough. First, the cotton paper is removed and the bananas are measured to ensure proper sizing. Then, they are washed again to remove any remaining dirt and bacteria. After cleaning, large banana bunches are cut into smaller bunches for easier handling and packaging. The uniformly cleaned bananas are quickly packed and distributed to retailers, ensuring they stay fresh and high quality for consumers. Check out these bananas. They're so uniform after being cleaned and sorted, Imagine how tasty they'll be in just a few days when they're nice and ripe. Did you know? Besides direct distribution, bananas are also processed into many delicious products, such as banana chips, a favorite snack for many. The banana chip making process begins with peeling the bananas and grinding the white flesh. Next, the bananas are fried in hot oil to achieve perfect crispiness. The fried banana slices are then transferred to a centrifuge 
to remove excess oil. Spices are mixed in to create flavorful varieties, and the chips are automatically packaged using advanced AI technology. Each package is labeled with production date, expiration date, and serial number before being ready for distribution. Next, let's explore the land of delicious strawberries. Salinas Valley is renowned for producing high-quality strawberries in California. In 2023, strawberry revenue reached approximately $2.2 billion, making California the leading strawberry producer in the U.S. and significantly contributing to the state's agricultural economy. With its fertile soil and mild climate, Salinas Valley is perfect for growing strawberries. Strawberry harvests usually take place in spring and early summer. The process is mainly done by hand to ensure the quality of the fruit. The moment you sink your teeth into these plump, juicy strawberries, your taste buds will thank you. After reaching full ripeness, strawberries are harvested either by hand or machine to ensure the fruit isn't bruised. Each strawberry is carefully placed into specialized containers right after picking. These containers are specifically designed to minimize impact and protect the strawberries from damage during transport. The transportation process from the farm to the processing plant is quick, ensuring that the strawberries stay as fresh as possible. The transport vehicles are equipped with cooling systems to maintain the right temperature, preventing the strawberries from wilting or losing moisture. Once they arrive at the factory, the strawberries go through a thorough inspection process. Workers or automated machines carefully check each strawberry to make sure they meet quality standards. Criteria like size, color, and ripeness are closely examined. Any damaged, diseased, or substandard strawberries are removed. After that, the strawberries are sorted by size. The large, perfect strawberries are kept for premium products like frozen or dried strawberries while smaller or irregular ones might be used for jams or juices. Wow, it's amazing how many products can be made from just strawberries, right? Once sorted, the strawberries go through an automatic washing system using clean water or a food-safe solution to remove dirt and pesticides. Some factories even use ultrasonic waves or high-pressure water sprays to ensure the strawberries are completely clean while keeping their natural flavor for the next processing steps. Next, the strawberries are trimmed with the stems and unwanted parts removed, either manually or by machine. For jams or juices, the strawberries are cut into smaller pieces or pureed. If they are being processed into frozen strawberries, they are left whole or halved depending on the product requirements. Do you like strawberry juice? After being pured, the strawberries are pressed to extract the juice. The juice is then filtered to remove any pulp or unwanted bits. The final product is fresh, vitamin-rich strawberry juice, which is immediately bottled or canned and stored in cold temperatures to preserve freshness. I'm sure you've had strawberry jam on toast for breakfast, right? To make jam, the strawberries are heated with sugar and natural preservatives. The mixture is continuously stirred until it becomes a smooth, delicious strawberry jam. Once the desired consistency is reached, 
The jam is packed into jars and stored in a cool place, ready for the market. Products like jam, juice, and frozen strawberries are carefully packaged in specialized containers. Each package is clearly labeled with information about the product's origin, production date, and expiration date for consumers to check. The products are then stored in cold storage or shipped to distributors for sale. Next, let's dive into the process behind a beauty product that's familiar to many women. Aloe vera has long been recognized for its remarkable benefits for both health and skin. The gel found within the leaves of the aloe plant contains numerous beneficial compounds, including vitamins, minerals, amino acids, and powerful antioxidants. These valuable ingredients endow aloe vera with the ability to soothe irritated skin, promote cell regeneration, reduce inflammation, and protect the skin from UV damage. Moreover, aloe vera is widely used in hair care products, helping to nourish strong, shiny hair. With these amazing benefits, it is no surprise that the global aloe vera market is growing strongly. In 2023, the global aloe vera extract market was valued at approximately $3.08 billion. That's an impressive number, isn't it? After about 18 to 24 months of care, aloe vera plants are ready for harvest. The harvesting process requires a combination of technique and meticulousness. Workers use sharp tools and primarily harvest by hand with the support of technology and machinery to improve efficiency. Millions of fresh green aloe vera leaves are harvested each year, a result of the relentless efforts of farmers and workers. At the factory, the aloe leaves undergo a strict processing procedure. First, the leaves are thoroughly cleaned using modern machinery, completely removing dirt and impurities. Next, the inner gel, aloe vera gel, is separated from the outer rind. This process can be done manually or mechanically, depending on the scale of production. The extracted gel is then collected into large vats, which can hold thousands of liters, for pasteurization and filtration. Through multiple layers of filtration, including coarse, fine, and even ultra-filtration, the gel is purified to remove any impurities and bacteria, ensuring a purity level of up to 99%. The aloe vera gel is then packaged into large containers, capable of holding hundreds of liters, or sterile bags ensuring quality and food safety. Did you know that, on average, each ton of aloe leaves can produce about 300 to 500 liters of pure aloe vera gel? With the current large-scale production, millions of tons of aloe leaves are processed each year, providing a huge amount of aloe vera gel for the global cosmetics and pharmaceutical industries. Were you surprised by the modern production process? You must have been amazed to learn about the complex steps behind the everyday products we all know. Which part impressed you the most? Feel free to share your thoughts with us. Thank you for watching the video and see you in the next video.